hey guys what's up what's good welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by this is your babe antoinette i love and appreciate you it's raining currently so i'm going to be shouting in this video so that you guys can get me clearly because i just can't wait till tomorrow to film this video i really really have to film it today and try to edit and post today hopefully but yeah today's video is proudly sponsored by <laughs> when i not getting memo like take a look at we laughing come la show la something today's video can you guys see can you guys see that okay 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 i'm happy you can see it okay okay i'm just happy you can see that i'm just i'm just happy you can see that can you guys see can you guys see that cool so let's talk Today's video is proudly sponsored by a very big hair brand in Salon, okay? Find Me Collection. So I've been using products from Find Me Collections for the past, I don't know, I don't know how long. In fact, if you remember clearly, last year I used products from Find Me Collections for my maternity photo shoot. So I used their hair, I think, I think it was Expressions or Lush hair. I think I used the Lush. I used the Lush for my you know delivery to braid my hair for delivery and then i use the expression for my maternity photo shoots whatever so it was just dope and before that i had used their products their hair stuff way before that okay and i know so this is a known and trusted brand when i talk about find me collections you guys you guys should know like <laughs> You should already know you should know you guys can you see this hair this is human hair it's a 14 inches human hair and Kulosa. <laughs> so today's video is finally sponsored by find me collections your hair plug you should actually check their facebook page check their instagram handle and definitely definitely order from them and the juicy part is you can have a 10 percent discount on any hair product from find me collections using my code antoa 001 it will definitely be in the description box so yeah just check the description box out you'll find a link to find me collections facebook and instagram pages and then you'll see my code so if you use my code then you get a 10 percent discount on all hair products okay on all the different hairs that they sell so just use my code antoa001 and you guys let me tell you something fun fact this hair is called wig antoa <laughs> you don't understand it is called wig antoa okay that's the name of this hair so don't joke with it okay you go there say oh i want wig antoa this is the code and you definitely have a 10 percent discount you go there and say oh i don't want wig antoa i want something else so go there today and enjoy the 10 percent discount using my code now let's get right into this video Today we are going to quickly talk about the whole Abacha Street issue. So if you are not Sierra Leonean, then we have a street that is called Abacha Street. I think it was Kisi Street way back, but now it is Abacha Street. And yesterday there was an issue with Abacha Street. So for the past few weeks, it has been under some sort of construction. So maintenance here and there and stuff. But then yesterday, according to reports, police officers went there and then they, they scattered traders or whatever like their their tables their their businesses everything like the according to reports the officers destroyed everything because they are not supposed to do street um trading okay so that is the whole issue with abacha street it was all over the news on social media on traditional media and so i just decided to talk about it and that is why we're here so first things first street trading can cause lots of like it has lots of disadvantages lots and lots of disadvantages don't even get me started like it's just a lot so let's first of all address that particular one and then we can go into what i think about the whole police or security or authority beating them disturbing their business and all of those things first of all you guys street trading makes it difficult to properly manage waste okay so 
whatever they decide to do street trading it's going to be super super difficult to clean that area it makes it really difficult for for proper waste management okay i mean if you go around that area it's just not a good sight to see and for me personally i feel like that is like a center which is supposed to be really clean attractive if i should say because the town is really small and so when somebody comes to freetown 10 chances to one the, the most important place is pz area where they would want to go and shop you know just see the city center the the central business district and all that and they might just walk down abacha street one way or the other and when you go there it's not a good site so to do business in that particular area one disadvantage is it makes it really difficult to keep that area clean so it is always dirty which to me is not supposed to be especially because of where it is located another thing for me is there is no footpath there is no road for cars anymore because the business people have taken over the streets like they are just everywhere they are just everywhere they are selling we know of course that it is really difficult and it will sound selfish you know to talk about these things because you have a job okay but it does not matter i mean why it is black we're going to say it why it is white we should say it as well so it makes it really difficult for other people to go about their daily businesses because they are selling on the main street the traffic in those places in fact there is no footpath okay let's let, let's forget about vehicles there is no footpath when i talk about footpath i'm talking about a place where somebody can walk without his or her phone being stolen due to i don't know congestion or whatever but the place is just so congested vehicles find it really difficult to drive like if you're not a senior driver don't pass at Saniabacha Street, okay? Sometimes when I drive by and use the Saniabacha Street as is, I feel like I'm a pro because, man, to succeed and drive past that place successfully without hitting somebody is by the grace of God because it is congested. And talking about it, it makes it really risky for even those that are doing business there. Imagine you've blocked the footpath and then there's no space for cars to pass by freely there's going to be traffic okay because the whole place is congested and it's going to be very very easy for a vehicle to hit somebody so accidents they are always prone to accidents we've heard about it we've heard about vehicles you know losing control and hitting people it's a whole lot i'm not saying i support the authorities and i am not also supporting the people that sell there i mean we're all not from rich rich background so don't think i'm coming from a rich perspective that i don't understand the struggle i fully understand the struggle okay i know it is not easy and these people are trying to make ends meet i fully understand that myself but we ought to create a standard for ourselves we ought to strive and work towards the development that we want to see now one would say government should build um you know malls or market places just structures where people can do their business in those structures if they don't want to see them selling on the streets it sounds good and personally that would be my recommendation if i had not seen shops or malls or market structures abandoned in the past now i have seen this okay i have seen marketplaces abandoned and these business people business people will still bring their businesses and sell outside on the streets instead of taking them in these buildings if you've not seen that in sierra leone then raise your hand but i have seen that i mean i have been to bo i have been to makeni i have been to kenema and these three places i have seen super cool malls very very beautiful malls beautifully constructed malls okay and one question i keep asking why are people not doing businesses in these malls why do they choose instead to sell on the streets the malls were there abandoned only few of the 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 the, the shops were rented out okay the rest of the malls were just closed 
the shops were there abandoned but then just a few were taken just a few i know it is difficult to have the money to do those things but we must try to use the facilities that are not expensive for instance some of these market places kutawod market sesef guest structure most times you'll see people outside instead of inside. Waterloo Market is an example. They have this very nice structure, but then, I mean, I can understand if you say there is not enough space in the, in the buildings, but then let it, you know, let it carry the number of people it's supposed to carry before we see other people outside. You'll see the places empty, abandoned, and then people are doing businesses on the streets which to me i just cannot understand so clearly it has been really really difficult to be able to keep people in the structures in the buildings people think oh if i put my market outside then it is easier for people to easily spot my market my business and buy it okay that has been it so everybody is just bringing their stuff outside instead of inside i think it is nice to have structures if you ask me that would be my recommendation but while we have these structures we need to change mentality okay the fact that there is the structure it means you need to use it let's use it first utilize it and then if there is not enough space for other people then you can shout about it we should all yearn for development but on a whole to be honest with you i don't think the authorities need to use violence that is one thing that i am really really against there are um, a million and one ways to you know educate these people and let them know that they are not supposed to sell out there other than you know destroying what they've labored for some of these people it's their it's their like it's just a little amount of money that they've used to set up these businesses so imagine destroying their tables i also believe it's an opportunity for the thieves as well so if the police officers or whoever goes there to you know break tables and scatter businesses and stuff these thieves they are just going to use that as an opportunity to vandalize and gather people's you know stuff to run away with them because they wait for the slightest opportunities <laughs> to just steal so i think destroying stuff is not really the best thing to do there are a million and one ways let's learn to to raise awareness let's learn to sensitize people we need to speak to these people we need to have the structures available if people try to you know set up their businesses in the morning let's have police officers there fair enough but they are not supposed to be there to fight just by using i don't know things like ropes just tie them demarcate the whole area these are all things that we can use you know how they used to demarcate areas you know scenes of you know incidents or whatever you can use those things to say no no business goes on here today People should not open their markets here. All of those things can be done. Again, of course I know most of these market structures are free. But the paid malls, the malls that people are supposed to pay for, the shops, these are supposed to be really reasonable. They should, you know, bring it down to the price that people can easily afford these things and be able to set up their businesses in shops. Because we should have... Again, salon, the, the thing they all call low cost sales, they're not low cost. The O's, they're not low cost. I don't understand. You can hear low cost housing, but they are not for the layman. They are not for people like us. They are not for average people. They are not for, I don't understand. So, <laughs> so again, that in itself is a problem. But, 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 even though these malls, have prices tagged to them we still have free market structures that people are running away from i know for sure that lots of people cannot afford to pay for shops and all of these things but please when they build market structures let's try to use them i mean i just want to say i feel really sorry for all the business people that you know because when you look at those videos with the women shouting who are not foreigners we want to sell it's really sickening to be honest it's really really sickening and the fact that some of these police officers are not really professional so how they handle things <laughs> it's just that is story for another day 
salon be issues them plenty to be honest but yeah that is how i want to wrap up this video and remind you all that today's video is proudly 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 sponsored by find me collections and you guys please please use the links in the description box to head over to the facebook page and the instagram handle and if you want to purchase any of their hairs this or any other one you get a 10 percent discount just by using my code antoa 001 i just can't stop myself from combing this hair because it is so freaking cute and soft and i keep looking at myself <laughs> anyways that is that you guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in my next one